Hi everyone, it's Cheryl. I'm going to share a quick and easy, um, kind of nice breakfast or quick dessert um, that I usually make at camping, but I'm going to make today at home on the stove top. So it's real quick and easy. You just take bread. I like to make it with um, French toast seasoned bread or like a cinnamon bread. You can use regular bread if you want. I put butter on one side of my bread and then on the other side I put a little bit of cream cheese which just kind of jazzes it up a little bit. And then you get your pie filling which I'm doing apple pie filling today and you kind of mash up your apples a little bit just so it's easier to eat. And then you place your apple pie filling on your one side of your bread. And you put it on the other side. You can do it with um, jelly. I've done it in a quick making a snack for you know my niece or something. If she wants something sweet, I said I would use just plain jelly. It makes you can make awesome peanut butter and jelly this way too. I had never thought to toast peanut butter and jelly before like a toasted cheese type sandwich and it is just amazing. So and then you come and you take your butter and you spread it on your other side of your bread and then you're going to take it and you're going to place it face down on your hot griddle and you're just going to make it just like a toasted cheese. So you're going to want to do the other side with some butter. more and then you're going to turn your heat up a little bit just so it'll get nice and toasted and just keep an eye on it get your spatula ready <laughs> at camp it's like I always make it in my hobo pie maker and it'll, they make them so much more crisper and they smush them and ooze it all together. But I said it works just as well on your stove top. So I don't think my pan was quite hot enough to get it ready here. Oh, I starting to hear it sizzle. You can put a lid over it. It depends upon how hot you want your filling. Sometimes I'll put foil over it to get it, you know, more toasted. You can take your plate. Sometimes I just set my plate over top of it because the plate's already dirty, so it kind of helps, you know, heat things through. But I'm going to wait until I flip it before I do that. Let's give a little check and see what it looks like on the bottom. Oh, they're starting to get toasted. Yep. You can flip them. And look at that. You hear the sizzle? looking good. So this way I'll put the plate a little bit. You got to watch because the plate might get hot so you might want to have you know a pot holder or something close by. It just helps steam it and gets it done inside. It doesn't take long especially with the cast iron. Yep look at that. Nice. Nice turn off the heat because of my cast iron. And this one's nicely done. And there you go. I think maybe I'll throw this one one more time. <laughs> Get a little, I like mine a little bit brown. Just like marshmallows. You like a little bit more burnt. I always like my toast nice and crisp. So here's a quick and easy recipe. I said we'll give one a little cut. Look at that. All oh, so nice and yummy. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this recipe. You can use any kind of pie filling you prefer. You need raspberry, um, strawberry, um, but the cream cheese just gives that little bit you know, like a Danish type taste to it. You don't have to use cream cheese if you don't want to. It's just make it your own. 
but I hope you enjoy. Thank you. Bye.